that it is not enough to understand a problem, to talk about it, to make recommendations about a problem, but having done that, it is critical to take action. And that is an ethos that we have tried very hard to build into the McCain Institute. Build a culture of innovation that you start with the question, you have the ability to iterate, innovate, try, fail, and when you find the success, be ready to scale it. I think there are so many things that involve learning from survivors. Actually asking, can you share your expertise with us about if we're gonna to try to create this paradigm change, how would you do it? And they'll have dozens of ideas. Please leave your ego. Live your own personal purpose. Let's come together for the victim, for the survivor. Survivors should be partnered with organizations and people and advocates. If you're starting an organization, you should probably come to a survivor to see what they can do to help. The focus on not criminalizing those victims and survivors, that while we are providing every available resource to this minor, and it's not their job to know how to navigate these systems. When a child is purchased for rape, her buyer first is arrested and second is not arrested for misdemeanor solicitation uh -huh. because this has nothing to do with vice or prostitution or solicitation. This is a form, one of the worst forms of child sexual abuse. As you know, something like 80% of our victims in the U.S. are from the U.S. and so we still have work to do in our own country. The city of Houston used to have the reputation of being the number one trafficking, domestic trafficking city in the United States. Those days are changing. There's now something like 3,000 organizations around the world that say they're working against human trafficking. And again, if you compare that to what was the case 10 or 15 years ago, it's really an amazing change that has happened. Why'd you get into this? What makes you tick? How could I not be? How could I not be? How could any one of us turn the blind eyes to what's happening? Action speaks louder than words. And this is something that we have in common, as you know. So, and this is the moment to do what's right. Someone said, if not you, who? So I think all of us are bound together by the fact that we have seen this devastating scourge on mankind and we want to do something about it. I hope that this inspires you to more action and more involvement. Most importantly, we believe in the future of this issue. We believe we can work on this together and make a difference.